Righto ladies, for Overlocker Club uh, for August you'll see that we're going to be making this cover for a book or whatever. We'll give you the sizing of the type of um, notepad that you would need to be able to go into this and it's going to be made in one size. You're going to need six um, fabrics and these are jelly roll strips so two and a half inch width strips and we're going to make piping and we're actually going to be um, inserting the piping in with the stitching um, like as you're assembling the rows of fabric. Uh, you'll see here we have decorative stitching on here which is cover stitching. We're actually going to omit that. This was made in a project um, for training, uh, for overlocker training, but we're actually going to not include that. We don't think it does any wonders for the project and a bit of a waste of time. So um, as you can see that's the way that it's finished. Um, Kathy's going to give you a demonstration on the steps that we are involved in doing the piping. So we've actually made piping um, and if anyone just saw the last uh, or one of the um, videos that we've just made, you've made piping this month Kath for um, Foot Club. We have. Uh, so the piping is actually made exactly the same way on the sewing machine but then Kathy's going to show you a nifty trick to neaten it all up. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to show you how to trim up your um, piping so that it's exactly a quarter inch away from the piping edge which makes life easier when you're assembling it with the overlocker. So first of all you're going to remove the thread from your needles and also I'm going to advise taking the needles out. It's unnecessary to stitch with them when there's no thread in there and therefore less wear and tear on those. You'll also need today uh, your piping foot for your overlocker. If you don't have one then we're just going to have to make do with as best as we can but a piping foot is ideal. So once you've removed the needle and thread and um, have everything ready to go you're going to place the piping under the foot making sure that the piping sits within the groove of the foot okay so it's easily guided along and you will see that the blade is actually going to trim the flange of the piping that you've created with the sewing machine. So we're going to close up and start stitching. Start cutting more to the point. Okay, so when we've got that finished, you'll see how lovely and neat, and that is a perfect quarter inch from the piping edge to the actual cut edge here. Okay, so you'll probably notice how nice and quiet the overlocker sounded because there were no needles in it and no thread going. All right, but in a minute, you'll notice that difference will start to sound a little bit louder. So once you've prepared all of your piping and there's about eight meters of it, um, you're going to now attach uh, put your needles back in, thread your needles and thread your loopers correctly as well. Okay so what you'll need to do um, throughout the project is you're actually going to create um, like a row of strips and in between each seam joining strips you're going to have the piping. So how it's done is you're going to have the piping laid with the raw edge of the piping against the raw edge of the bottom strip and then layer the, t the next strip on top aligning the raw edges again and then you're going to use your four thread overlock and you're going to um, to stitch it all together. Okay so what this um, project requires is that you um, have strips of fabric different alternating strips and as you sew them together with a seam you're going to actually have the piping within that seam you're going to catch it within there and so therefore you'll have it um, sewn in between the strips just like this. Okay so ensure that you have your bottom strip facing right side up your next piece that you put in is your piping 
and then your next strip right side down so you have now right sides together place it up underneath your piping foot ready to go you'll see that we have um, a leading um, edge here this will help you um, grab the feed teeth will grab it to feed it through and also ensure that you have that piping right up underneath the groove of the piping foot and that way your stitching will be dead accurate and stitch right up against the the edge of the piping itself okay so you'll want this set to a four thread overlock and off you go try not to stitch too fast and that way you can be accurate with placement of fabric as you go through and ensuring that you're going to catch all those edges If you have the um, availability on your machine to set it to woven heavy, then I would do this because you are sewing through essentially four layers of fabric. And of course it's always a good idea to test sew on fabric first of all so you can get your right tension settings. touch your piping just like that and so now you'll open it up and you will see that you've caught your piping nice and perfect just like that and that is the bonus of having a piping foot so that's the technique that you'll be using next month in overlocker club um, and we will need to know um, you know if you're liking if you're wanting to actually do it and it'll be the afternoon session of the Saturday um, accompanying these videos it was an email uh, telling you about the requirements for this workshop and also the times we just need to hear back from you to let us know which you what you would like to book into so that's piping on the overlocker for august club